Mike Gelfman, and I'm founder of the Disruption Institute. Today I'm going to be talking with Jennifer Bertrand, who's winner of HGTV's Design Star 3 show. She also had her own show called Pain Over. Both have been viewed by millions of people. We're going to be talking to her about a lot of things today, what it's like to be on reality TV, why she thinks coloring outside the lines is important, especially as an adult. You know, her stories of facing true struggle, about never giving up, and how she overcame that to get back to where she is now. We're also gonna be talking about how, how she sees failure and how you can't let it define you, how you need to let it become a teachable moment. She's a professional design, so we're gonna get her feedback on her streetcar app. This is episode 15 of Streetcar Stories. Jennifer Bertrand. I won a reality show on HGTV called Design Star and had many other adventures. For anyone who does reality TV, you know you have to be slightly delusional. So there was something in my brain that said, I can do that. So I'd seen the first few seasons of Design Star and I basically sent in my DVD and I said, this is it. I even looked at my husband and I held it up and I said, are you ready for this? And he, of course, thought I was an idiot and was like, whatever, Jen. And no one's gonna pay attention and two weeks later I got a call from LA Jen this is Stan in casting and then they asked me who the funny English guy was on my DVD being on a reality show is kind of surreal because you're not allowed to call home you're not allowed to watch TV it's really kind of kooky and crazy but at the same time it was the first time in my creative being that I really felt at home I knew this was what I was meant to do but I believe that these reality shows, they make people fall in love with design. So to me, I really just learned that I love teaching people and teaching adults to color outside of the lines. show and trying out for the show was the defining moment that I knew I was on the journey I wanted to be on. But it wasn't the the highlight yet because I hadn't faced true, true struggle. I, and it wasn't until we, right after I won the show, I got pregnant. Our son was born with two rare malformations. Uh, it was a medical tsunami that hit our life. It was during um, 2009, the economic kind of blitz. Everything that could have gone wrong did. We lost our house, we lost our cars, everything imploded. And here I just won a reality show and I'm like, what is going on? But what I learned was, and for all of you out there, it's about taking that moment to say, those kind of moments happen in life and they don't define you. They are fleeting moments, but true like courage and everything is defined how you deal with those moments. Like, some people would tell me, kind of give up. Go get a job, Jen. Don't, you're, you're, they basically thought I was crazy. Like, why was I still going after it? But something in my creative soul said I would die if I stopped and didn't do it. And now, having hustled back to where I needed to be and having national opportunities again, only my husband and I know the true struggles, but every single thing was worth it and it all works out. So I just want you to know be delusional, be crazy, do what you need to do, and don't give up the hustle. Well, I think sometimes people think that um, they have to put out greatness at, like, on its first attempt. You know, there are many things that we had to learn along the way and that might have been um, hideous and there were self-taught moments. My thing is this is don't be scared to keep trying. Don't be scared to let failure be a teaching moment because if you don't, you're never going to get there. And the thing is this is no single person started off great. No single person had perfection. And here's what I tell myself. When I have failing moments, I'm like, Michael Jordan had to try out for his basketball team, high school basketball team, how many times? So to read those chicken soup books, whatever you have to do, but find that inner self belief, fail, and and learn from it. I fail a lot. level with their public transportation. The app's amazing. It just shows that we keep up like the best of them and not only are we keeping up, we're being fashion forward and innovative in what we throw out. So it's really great that Kansas City's become such a tastemaker and your app's so amazing.